Hey guys, Drew here at Card of My Eye, and today I have a layout video from start to finish, and it's based around this photo here. I hope this camera angle is okay. I actually rearranged my scrapbook room all yesterday, and it's pretty different, and um, I hope the camera angle is okay. So if you could leave a comment letting me know if this camera angle works for these videos, that would be awesome, because I hope it does. I'm trying to find out a way to get it directly above so it's pointing down rather than this sort of angled view, if you could see. So um, I just wanted to start it off by showing you some of the products I'm using, and then we'll get into the video. So this is the photo, and I swear I'm not flipping you off. I am throwing a paper airplane. This was actually for my digital photography class I'm taking, um, and it was for motion blur, just a um, section we were studying. And uh, as far as the products go, I'm going to start off with the papers. Here are the papers I chose. I wanted some bright, fun papers, so I chose a little bit of a different paper like scheme than I normally would. I grabbed this one from Fifth and Frolic called Foxy Fairview and I love the chevron. I think I'm actually gonna cut it down the center and use it as a large panel because I really love that paper. It has a pink on the back side. I grabbed this one from Fifth and Frolic as well. This one's 24th and Sparrow and it has a really nice um, white floral on top of a lime green pattern. And there's a pink sort of uh, pattern on the back. These are little flowers. And this one is from Pebbles Walnut Grove Collection. This one's called Eliza Jane. And it has this really neat yellow pattern. Yellow is my favorite color, so I want to incorporate that somewhere. And the back has this super adorable, like, miniature floral pattern. Can you see that? It's really cute. And then I have this one from October Afternoon. This is from the Woodland Park Collection called Blue Sky. I really love this. I thought I could incorporate it somewhere. Not sure where, but we'll see. There's the back side of that paper. And then there's this one here, which is from the Fifth and Frolic collection called Autumn Avenue. And I really like this yellow pattern. It has sort of like homemade happiness, this is life, this is our journey. And it's just like a lot of different words sort of um, in the border strip pattern. And it's sort of wrinkly, which sort of sucks, but that's okay. And I'm actually, I forgot to grab a background paper, so I'll grab that before I start the class or the little video and I also have this one here these are the mini market stickers in yellow and black some of my favorite ones as you can see I've used a ton I also grabbed this fabric from Studio Calico it's in a blue and white polka dot and some October afternoon work word stickers from the fly kite collection some of the crepe paper phrase stickers from the random collection artisan ribbons from pink paisley and a washi tape i think i'll probably use a little bit more washi tape but i just grabbed that one it was sitting right there i also have a couple wood veneer pieces from studio calico some of the cameras banners and other little bits and i have color shine from heidi swap in the color bronzer I don't know if you'll be able to see that. That's the color I'm using, bronzer. So that's sort of everything I grabbed for this layout. I'm not sure what I'm gonna add or take away. And I also have my bucket of goodies, which I always have. Just has my um, necessities, like my date stamp, some other wood veneers, just a little chipboard shapes and doilies and other stickers and bags and papers and things like that. I just keep that all the way. I, I just keep that on the side of my pages all the time. So just to have it around. So let's get started. Okay, so I picked this background paper, which is from Studio Calico's Take Note collection, and I'm using the Fifth and Frolic paper here and cutting two and a half inches from either center point of that chevron pattern, and I'm scruffing up the edges with my Tim Holtz scissors, just rubbing the blade along the edges of the paper, as you can see there. And then I'm going to be um, cutting the branding strip off my paper and sort of centering this, or offsetting it more like this, uh, this panel of paper here. And I'm doing it on the left side, and at first I put it portrait, as you can see on the page here, but I'm actually going to turn the whole page landscape in a little bit after um, I sew it in a couple other steps that you'll see here. And I'm using a Studio Calico Fab Rip in um, aqua with white polka dots on it, and a little bit of this Heidi Swap Artisan Ribbon just right across there, and the fab rips are adhesive backed, so I could just stick it directly down to my um, scrapbook layout, and I sort of like the odd, sort of handmade look of that, if you know what I mean by that. And I'm going to layer my photo on a little bit of glass, or not glassine, on a little bit of book text here, like that, and then I'm going to add a little bit of sewing to the outside of this panel which um, looks like that and I also added a little bit down that blue fabric strip as well and I grabbed my crepe paper random stickers and I was going to place one but I actually decided not to and I'm just building up the layers of my photo mat right now and turning up the edges to add a little bit of dimension to the layout and the st stitching sort of um, fastens the paper down and that's what I meant by I turn the pa paper landscape style so um, it's 
I, I sort of like the orientation more than up and down. I like the sideways looking orientation. And then I've really been into laying my photo mats on top of other pieces of scrap paper or pattern paper and just cutting with my scissors around to give a little thin border and just a little pop of color and layer. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I also am grabbing this 9 to 5 um, background rubber stamp from October Afternoon. It's a houndtooth pattern and I'm using some Sahara Sand ink from Stampin' Up. Stamping that in the bottom left corner, just add a little bit of interest down there since I'm going to create an embellishment cluster. And a little bit of uh, excess book, book text to add just another little element down there. And then I'm going to layer my whole photo mat on a piece of glassine, which is sort of like a vellum. It's like a knockoff vellum. Well, it's not a knockoff vellum, it's glassine, but I'm just using it as a knockoff vellum. Placing that down, and that was a vellum bag. And I'm going to adhere that down a little bit lower than where I had it placed before. And then I'm going to use one of these Heidi Swap Definition stickers. I really love these. They're really vintage looking and I just love the way they look on your layout. So I'm actually going to back it with some of this vintage paper. And the vintage paper rips so easily because it's so old. It's literally, literally like a tissue paper. So that was pretty nice. And my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher was out of staples, so I actually am just going to use my Scotch ATG, and then I grab the staples a little bit later into the video. And I'm going to actually spell out the title here. I'm spelling out Paper Plane using the October Afternoon Yellow and Black Mini Market stickers. Those are my favorite ones that they've ever done. I just really love yellow, and this is my favorite font in the world. I love this font. It's called um, Oswald. It's my favorite font. I said that like four times. And then I'm going to place a little arrow wood veneer by Studio Calico on the page. Just like that. With my three-in-one beacons and this oblong looking heart shape, which is also a Studio Calico piece. Then I decide I'm going to uh, do a date stamp. I'm using the Angie, Amy Tangerine Roller Date Stamp and a little bit of the Blackbird Color Box Fluid Chalk Ink. Um, the ink pad, but I actually, I, I don't, I do not know how to stamp dates on this, I swear. Well, I mean, I know how to stamp dates, but on this project, it did not turn out correctly. So, um, the January would not stamp, so I get it all ready and inked up, and then I stamp it, but the word January just, like, really would not stamp on the page. It was really odd. I don't know why. So, cleaned it off except for the word January and attempted to stamp it. It sort of worked out a little bit, not as much as I wanted it to, but you could sort of see what it is. It says January 4th, 2013. It's good enough for the page. I might add it somewhere else on second thought. And then I'm adding a little brad from the um, Little Boy Blue collection by Crate Paper. I love those brads. And these, this is the Rain Boots font from American Craft Stickers and like a teal glitter, but I actually decide not to use this. I use the um, Doll Vanilla Crepe Paper font from Thicker as well. Those are the vanilla ones. And again, that font is called Doll, and it's from the, a Crepe Paper collection. And this is a little Studio Calico wood veneer heart that I'm just going to place on there. And then I grab a couple of sequins. These are just like a little bag of like sequins I have. These were shaped sequins. I thought it'd be fun to add shaped ones, but I really didn't like the way it looked. So I took off all the shaped ones, and I'm actually just going to use plain circle ones. So I have a little bag of circle ones. I'm going to use mainly the gold and silver ones, just because there's not many primary colors in this layout. And a lot of the sequins I have are just like primary, like bright red, dark blue, and green. So they wouldn't have really worked for my page. Just going to adhere those down a little bit, tucking them underneath things and just placing wherever I want them. And there is that ticket, and here is the scallop piece, which I'm actually going to cut the top and the bottom off of and make a little scallop border at the top. Just a little extra interest, and then place the middle section on the photo mat to add an extra layer to it. Just crumpling up the paper again to add a bit of dimension. And here is some green baker's twine from Divine Twine, 
or the twinery. I don't remember which one it is. And I um, actually decide to refill my tiny attacher, and I'm going to staple those down, just stapling a couple of times on the page. And then this one, I can't staple that far in, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, adhesive on there. Cut off the excess. And then I'm using the um, Heidi Swap Bronzer Color Shine. And I'm just adding a couple of blotches, some bigger ones, and then some smaller ones as well. And then I was going to create some little banners to journal on top of. I thought that I thought that, that would be fun, so I grabbed a paper bag and I was going to do that. But I really didn't like the way it looked, and it didn't really fit the layout. Um, so I actually just journaled directly underneath the photo. As you can see, that doesn't really look very good. It looks sort of crinkly and rumply, not very lovely. So I decided to just tuck in the top piece up there. And then I attach a little arrow on, and another little arrow down there. So there's two of them sort of pointing to the title. And I'm attaching down a couple more sequins pieces. And I actually replaced that letter E because I splattered a little bit too much on it. And as you can see, I added that Hello Thought Bubble to the top right of the photo, and um, as well as that tab. And those are both from the October Afternoon Fly a Kite Word Sticker Sheet, which I showed at the beginning. And I'm going to title this um, Digital Photo, because this was from my digital photo class. So it's going to go in my school album. So it's just sort of, I wanted to sort of talk about the class that this was taken in, or what it applied to, I guess. Stapling a couple more times. And that is really the full layout, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to check out the full blog post below, which has a link to all of the items that I used on this scrapbook page. And you could also go ahead and comment here and on the blog if you'd like to. And don't forget to subscribe above. Have a great day, and that was just a little strip of washi tape. Bye, everyone.